Okay, the secret's out. You have a crush. Each time that person smiles, your entire world lights up. Now, you are torn between confessing your feelings to your crush or keeping it hidden. Getting rejected is simply out of the question, so we can't just ask. If you can relate, here are some nonverbal signs your crush likes you to make it easier to ask them out. The window to the soul and heart. Can you really know someone's true feelings by staring into their eyes? You may have heard the saying, the eyes are the windows to the soul before, but do you know the pupils are literally the windows to the eye? Cognitive psychologist, Dr. David Ludden explained that the eyes may reveal a great deal about another person's emotional state. Furthermore, according to a 2015 study about pupil size, it was found that the size of your pupils speaks volumes about your emotions and intentions. Since we can't control the size of our pupils, our pupils are a genuine indication of sexual or social interest. The bigger the pupils, the more interested we are. Imagine you're politely pretending to be interested in what your neighbor is saying as she describes every detail of her trip to the spa. You're so committed to your character that you decide to fake a smile. Even though your mouth is smiling, your pupils will be small, giving away the fact that you couldn't be less interested. Okay, what does this mean? The next time your crush looks at you, lock eyes, just for a moment. Do their pupils get bigger? If so, this might be a sign they have a crush on you. Preening. When you're getting ready for a date, do you spend the majority of the time in front of a mirror making sure everything's in its place? Of course. You wanna make a good impression, but what about your crush? Does your crush brush their hair away from their face while you look away? Maybe they tuck at their clothes and brush off lint when they see you unexpectedly. According to a study led by researcher John Daly, these patterns of behaviors oriented towards improving one's physical appearance in social environments are known as preening. Yeah, like a bird. Researchers Mark Knapp led a study that explained that we preen more when we're forming an intimate connection rather than when we're in a committed relationship. What does this mean? We usually preen ourselves in the flirting or crush phase of the relationship to get them interested more than those in a committed relationship. So if you notice that your crush has some, oh my God, how do I look moments, they might like you. Off balance or magnetism. The next time you're talking to your crush, take a moment to check how your body looks. Where are your arms and legs? Where is your body facing? Are you leaning in any direction? Couples therapist, Terry Orbuck stated in Women's Health Magazine that when someone is leaning towards you, it gives a signal of interest and trust. This can even mean that they wanna be physically closer to you or intimate with you. How does your body look when you're mad? Crossed arms, not facing the person you're mad at? Strong stance with hip popped out if you're standing, legs crossed if you're sitting? The next time you're sitting in front of your crush, look at their body posture. Is their body angled towards you? Is their chair positioned nearer to yours? If so, there may be a high possibility that they like you. Mirror, mirror. According to sex and relationship therapist, Courtney Getter, in a Mind Body Green article, we unconsciously imitate someone's behaviors, mannerisms, and other gestures when we find them attractive. This active imitation is known as mirroring. It's a nonverbal way to demonstrate empathy and affection, a signal of connecting and bonding, and that you're engaged in the conversation you're having. Does your crush uncross their legs after you uncross yours? Do they speak using the same words as yours? Professor of psychology and neuroscience, Dr. Yuri Hassan and his colleagues found that these shared behaviors are more than just mirroring. Functional MRIs were used to investigate the brain movements of listeners and speakers. They found that the listeners' brain movements react to the speakers and the connection becomes a wireless form of cerebral bonding. So after talking with and hanging out with that special someone enough, mirroring tends to be the result. Well, I guess it's true, as the saying goes, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. You remembered. Let's say one of your friends suggests in the group chat that you all go for dinner at a seafood restaurant. Suddenly your crush speaks up and suggests the new Indian restaurant instead because they remember you're allergic to seafood. Marriage and family therapist, Alison Osborne Corcoran, reveals in a Best Life article that when a person is interested in you, they make an effort to catch even the smallest details or things you've mentioned to them, even in passing. Maybe they'll remember your order at Starbucks or even your cat's birthday. Cognitive psychologist, Dr. Sandra Langleg led a study that demonstrated when we admire someone, we tend to remember information associated with them better. For example, a person is more likely to notice and remember their beloved's favorite dish on a restaurant menu, or which pillow is your favorite to lay on. 
They remember those seemingly insignificant details because the person is significant to them. When we care about someone, we make an effort to recall things that are significant to the person. There is no surefire method to know if someone likes you unless they explicitly tell you. However, actions always speak louder than words. If they like you, they'll show you. But sometimes you have to take the first step yourself and simply ask. Life is too short to spend time second guessing, right? Are there other nonverbal signs you can use to tell if someone likes you? Let us know in the comments. We hope these signs help you to ask your crush out. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.